All right, everyone. This is Outlaw Twenty Seven Forty Seven. I'm here to entertain you with one of my most favorite games of all time, Twisted Metal Two. Now, just to let you guys know, I'm gonna have this game on medium. Why? Because I haven't played this game in a long time. So I'll be lucky if I, uh, you know, survive. You know, this whole game without dying. Without further ado, let's go pick my favorite character, which is none other than Warthog. <coughs> now, Warthog is one of my favorite characters, mainly because he has good armor, his speed isn't too fast, but he isn't too slow, and his special is just awesome, especially when you use it up close when you're ramming. And that's one of Warthog's strong points. He's very, very good at ramming. So here we are in Los Angeles, first level. Now this area right here, you can actually use lightning attacks. Now what I'm doing now is I'm collecting at least two remote control bombs because they'll be very useful for the next levels ahead. Now here we have Axel. I find him to be one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Because he will abuse that special until you die. And if that doesn't work, he'll ram the hell out of you. Or he'll just pelt you with homing missiles. Now Hammerhead, his special is to simply ram you. Him being the monster truck and all. It makes a lot of sense. Now he can ram you even without using a special, but you know when he has a special equipped, it does a lot more damage. Now Warthog is one of the few characters strong enough to ram him back. I've been known to kill Minion with this guy, and there goes Axel. Sap. Oh, see, I just got hit by a Hammerhead special. But see, Hammerhead has only, you know, he only has half decent armor. Use that to your advantage. Now, luckily, Mr. Slam is easy to outmaneuver. He's gonna make sure he doesn't get you on a surprise. You see what I mean by Warthog's ramming power? I just knocked Mr. Slam into submission and I used the special. Three down, three to go. Now usually I suggest going after Spectre first because Spectre has this horrific habit of just running around the entire level pelting you with ghost missiles. However, you know, this being the first level, he seems to be more placid than usual. Once you get to the later levels, I suggest you take him out. Especially if you're somebody like Warthog, you want to freeze his ass and do as much damage to him as possible. See? See what he's doing now? He's running and launching missiles. You don't want him to do that. Corner him and kill his ass. Bingo. Now, I've noticed something about Outlaw 2. She tends to be one of the last characters left. She doesn't seem to attack you when everybody else is around. Maybe she'll do a drive-by. Kind of funny for a cop, right? She'll do a drive-by and then leave. But usually when she's about the last one left is when she'll come after you. Thumper. <coughs> Thumper has the nasty tendency to attack you when you're not looking. If he corners you with that flamethrower, no matter who you are playing as, you will die. Do not get downrange of him. Take him out from the side or behind, and he goes boom, just like that. Collecting more turbo. Remember I said how Outlaw tends to be the last one left? Now, she doesn't really attack with full force. Not all the time, anyways. Especially this is first level, should be pretty laid back. Now, you see what I just did with that napalm? 
you kind of drive by him to the side, launch the napalm as you come near him, and it'll automatically blow up. So you do not have to be directly in front of him to utilize the napalm. A lot of people may know these tricks already, but it's good to tell again, especially if you haven't played this game in a million years and want to play again. Which says I'm going to do it again. Wow. Beautiful. And finish her off. One more outlaw. 